um, first of all, what was the problem going into all of this that prompted signatures to, you know, kind of change the way things were going at Voices of Freedom Park? When they originally got here, um, we didn't know what to expect. And what happened was progressively more and more there was more trash and more tents that um, were junky looking. Um, and then, for whatever reason, uh, a lot of uh, people who weren't occupied started coming and putting their tents up and they began to drink alcohol there and uh, uh, w there was some drug activity and things going on there that um, we didn't like. So the neighborhood got together and said, you know, we need to get these people out of here because they're making a mess of everything. And they would have stacks of wood and trees and stuff piled up over there to have fires at night. And it just became junky. And uh, they, they were having some conflicts with people walking through the park. Uh, some of the people would say things to the people. And it, it ends up, it's not really the Occupy people who were doing that. But we didn't know, so what? Um, so they decided to do a petition. The neighborhood decided to do a petition. So I had um, a friend of mine that's a, one of the uh, neighborhood association members write a petition, and all it said was that if they're going to be here, uh, we want them to follow the codes. We want them to be healthy, you know, health issues, and just basically comply with um, having a nice orderly camp if they want to. So I called uh, Frank Reddick, our councilman, told, gave them the petitions. We sat down with Frank, told him what we wanted to do, and we have a city council meeting coming up on the 19th. Um, in the meantime, the way I always like to handle things is uh, go sit down with Joe man to man and talk to him and tell him what our issues were. And I know Joe well enough to know that he would do that. And, and so we had a pretty good meeting. And then Sunday afternoon, um, I walked over and sat down with the Occupies uh, people. And we had a good conversation and they agreed. And they've been, they're in the process right now of cleaning up the area. Um, this morning, I called uh, Clean City and they're going to go over and inspect the alleyway where it's a mess. It's not really Occupy's mess. Uh, right around the corner from on the opposite side of the alley, there's a, a bunch of chairs and, and wood and, and just a mess over there that um, Clean City's going to go clean that up, um, he said, by the end of the week. So if we get all of that done, um, I have a meeting July the 10th, which is our uh, normal neighborhood association meeting, and uh, then we'll talk about where we want to proceed from here. It's possible that if they get all that cleaned up, um, then we may not go to city council, or we may go to city council and just say we, we would like to continue monitoring and just making sure it doesn't become a mess again.